So you might want to say, uh, sorry, Ray, but uh, this doesn't look like a tire. No, you're absolutely right. And uh, we're going to do something about it. Since this is still a primitive, so we actually created something that is non, uh, we created it in a way that is non-destructive, we can still add things to it. We can uh, adjust the uh, radius of the bevel here. So something like this. And I'm actually going to make an inside so that it looks like a tire. Um, hang on. 23, 23, 23 is just right. All right. Um, I'm going to use a correction deformation for that. And uh, uh, it looks like a really odd little thingy here. Uh, correction. And I'm just going to plop it into the stretch and roll. And then I get um, uh, UVs and edges and, and um, whatchamacallit, um, vertices. So I can actually edit this into a tire. Now I'm going to use a little trick for this. And first of all, I'm going to um, do UL on my keyboard. And I'm going to go to edge mode and select... Uh, wait a second, oh, which ones should I do? Um, let's take this one. Whoops. No, not that one. This one. And the one directly opposite with the shift key held down. These two. And I'm just going to uh, scale these up. So I'm going to hit the T on my mouse. And I'm going to scale it over the Y and the Z. And I'm just going to push it inside so I get an edge there. So something like this. If I hold down the shift key, I can do it like this. Great, 115, uh, maybe 110, like that. Now, I'm hitting UL again, and I'm just selecting these loops. Perfect. With the Shift key, the second one on the YGD select, and I'm going to do exactly the same trick. So I'm going to scale it, and I'm going to scale it way more than the previous one, plus... I'm going to scale it over the X axis like this. It's not completely right, but it's the inside of the tire. Who cares? So something like this. Well, that looks more like a tire. Now, um, to add a material to it, I got a material here, and I'm just plopping it onto the uh, stretch and roll. And I'm going to make a profile here. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually going to take a sort of like a mask, make a mask for where the profile is going to be, because obviously it's not going to be on the sides. It's not going to be on the inside. And I use a trick for that. And um, I'm just going to switch off the color and switch on the luminance. Now, the luminance is, of course, uh, as is. So if it's white, it's all white all over. Now, I'm going to add a texture to this luminance channel called a gradient. Gradients are great. Uh, that's why they're called gradients, I guess. Um, so I'm going to open it. And first of all, I don't want it horizontal. I want this vertical. And now you can already tell in the preview where I'm at when I'm texturing this model. And let's start with the black. The black is going to be no profile whatsoever. The white is going to be a profile. So let's put these two here. Uh, oh, like a slight gradient here. So that it sort of bevels off. And I'm just going to add two more of these tabs just by clicking underneath the bar and I'm just gonna have a look where the other side is let's see somewhere over let's move the white up somewhere over here right did we do the same thing at that side 
roughly this edge, so it corresponds with that edge. So let's move the white in, and now the black, something like this. So you have a little bit of a, a, a gradient here and a gradient there, and the white basically says where the profile should go. And I'm going to switch this off because I'm not going to use the luminance, but I am going to copy this shader. Now, in the next chapter, I'll be actually putting that shader into a different channel, uh, just a simple bump map uh, to add some profile in here, put some color in it, uh, change the specular so it doesn't look so friggin' default, and move along from there, putting on some lights.